Viewer discretion is advised. filmed on location with the men and women of law enforcement. All suspects are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. When I'm out here, I try to focus on drugs and uh, people committing crimes against people, mostly robberies. I've always thought that a person, someone that robs someone, especially a gunpoint, is it's almost like a terrorist to their society, to their community. The people, it makes people afraid to go out of their own house. And that's not acceptable. Back. We have a car that's not stopping for an officer. We want to uh, keep the vehicle contained so we can stop it. What you try to do is you try to box uh, it in. Back eastbound, I think I'm marking. We can't get behind him. We're, we're uh, paralleling him. 144, he just hit me. All right, they just hit an officer. The car, we're in pursuit. 10-4, he went southbound through Dunbar Project. Straight southbound through his village. He's north of Willard, between Willard and Edison. North of Willard. He's getting ready to run. He's going south down towards Willard. He's got a black male, six feet tall, green shirt, teal pants. He's running back towards White Street. Come on, I'm telling you, you better get on the ground! Get your hands out! Get your hands out! Get your hands out! Get your hands out. Get your hands out. Stop resisting! Stop resisting! Hold on, man. Where? He's got some in this hand. Move! Watch out! Tase him again! Put your hands out! Put your hands out! It's just a lighter. I'm gonna tase him again. Get off the wire. Move on! I'm gonna tase again. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Do it now! Light him up! Do it now! Do it now! I'm trying to. All right, we got this hand. We got it. Mom! 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 I got his hands! Mom! I don't know. We got the pain. Where it is? Mom! 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 Get to my old job, I want to drive. All right, let's get him in. Let's, get, let's go. No. Hold on, man. Go, no, man. No, hell no. You're going. Come on, man. Hell no. What, mom? It's right. It's right. I'm going to tase you again. I'm not a car person. Right over here. There's a car over here. Let me give him a hat. Come on. Let me give him a hat. Walk. Get his head. Wait. Emily, we'll get his head. Watch the people. Yep. <laughs> I'm good, Andy. I had powder in his hand. He's got pills right here. What? Get in. Get in the car! I'm trying to get in. 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 I'm trying to Get him out of here. He had dope in his hand. That's what he had in his hand that he didn't want to give up. All right. What's up, Bill? Ecstasy. All right, he threw ahead. something down back here. Who's out with his car? Who's out with his car? Back here somewhere. Yeah. Let me go to what he threw down. There's a bag here. There's nothing else. Okay, no, he threw something back here. Where? Right around here? Yeah, it was like an air freshener, but it might have a false bottom. Sand, find that air freshener right there, right there. At your feet, to your left. Because he was running with. Someone grabbed something. This is what he threw. It had a top. <laughs> this is what he had in his hand with the other stuff. 
Myers where it's really uh, area of the bag. Hall and All right. Buffett. The bags are Yeah, for you guys on scene that visit aviation still needed further perks. This is this is a suspect vehicle. You can see the front end damage. Oh, yeah, it's up to Call where it ran three. into the other where it ran into the police officer. Uh, you can see there's extensive damage. He ended up driving through this residential neighborhood. You can see all these people out here. All these people were, or the majority of these people were already out. He was possibly endangering their lives after he almost killed a police officer. You can tell from the damage that it was a pretty hard impact. Uh, I was on the other side of the road. The vehicle was coming eastbound, straight at me and Pepin. Uh, turned southbound right here, hit him head on. I started running at it, tried to throw the sticks at it. We went in reverse and took off southbound in the southward. Where's uh, Pepin at? At the hospital? hospital. Yeah. yeah. Heard his hit. When an officer tried to do a traffic stop on a vehicle and the vehicle didn't stop immediately, and we pursued it, the suspect vehicle hit an officer's car. We ended up eventually getting him detained. Uh, he had to be taken to the hospital uh, to, to make sure that he wasn't injured because of the tasering. Well, it looks like uh, they've been cleared. We're going to talk to them and find out why he ran. So what happened, Dana? Why didn't, why didn't you stop? I wasn't driving. You weren't driving the car? Who was driving the car? It's none of the guy was driving. I was just in there. You don't know who the guy was? Why were you in the car? I was in the car. I was getting a ride. You were getting a ride? Whose car is it? It's my son's car. Your son's car and you weren't driving it? I don't have a license, so I don't drive. You don't have a license, you don't drive? The, the, an officer that stopped you the other day is the one that saw you driving the car, so he knows you. Gonna, it looks like you're going to be charged with uh, fleeing to elude, uh, DUI, DUI with property damage, aggravated battery, and resisting arrest. I've been a police officer for seven years now. My dad's been a police officer with the Sheriff's Department for 20-something odd years. And I really couldn't see myself doing anything else. Now I definitely can't see myself doing anything else. I love doing what I do. You sacrifice a lot to be out here, though, Christmas and Thanksgiving and birthdays and stuff. You miss a lot. It's a, we got a complaint at following a theft suspect. And, uh, apparently they stop at a location and they're having a physical or a verbal argument. We don't know at this time. Let's see what's going on. This looks like our complaint in here. What happened? Well, I went to work at 2 o'clock, and my lawnmower, my lawnmower, this one, I had it in front of the house, uh -huh. covered up, uh -huh. okay? And then my son calls me, mm -hmm. and he said, I left work at two, I left to work at 2 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Then he calls me and tells me, Mom, some guys just, did you sell your lawnmower because we're fixing to move? And I said, no, that lawnmower, I'm not going to sell it. That's a gift. And he said, well, some guys just loaded it up and took off. So I was coming from Sheldon to turn on Avenue C. They pulled out of Avenue, Avenue C, mm -hmm. and I said, is, are they in this kind of truck? And he said, yeah. So I just followed them. Went through the street, on the freeway, off the freeway, and then they just let it off right here. Okay. Did he tell you why he took it or he anything? He, he claims he bought it for $200. Why'd he take it off his truck? He didn't want no trouble, he said. He claims he paid $200 for it. Okay. Not to me. Have you ever seen these guys before? Nope. Never seen them before in your life? Never. Okay. I go to work, come back home, and... My, my own business, you know, but I mean, this lawnmower, I had it for a while, and, and they claim they paid $200 for it, and I know for a fact my son is still at home and, and can testify that these are the guys that, that pulled, pulled in the driveway and took it from the front of the house. Okay. How old is your son? He's 14. Okay. Hang on a second. We're going to take a whole other action. How's it going? All pretty good. Tell me what happened. Bought the lawnmower for two hundred dollars. Woman sells stole the lawnmower. Who'd you buy the lawnmower from? The guy at the bar down there on Shell Road. I don't know the guy. He was about thirty something, bald headed, stocky. What kind of vehicle was he driving? Did you get it out of? Uh, white truck. I really didn't pay that much attention. White truck, that's four truck. I don't know. I didn't pay that much attention. I just buying lawnmower. That's why I just had the lawnmower. Okay. Why'd you take it off of your truck though? Because she said it was hers. She was going to get it $200, so we took it out and unloaded it. So let her have a mower back. I just paid $200. Being a nice guy. She said, Crazy Kane, following me, saying it's her line mower. Told the woman about the line mower. She said it's her line mower. All right. 
Alright, do me a favor, just yes. have a seat here. I'll we'll be back with you in a little bit. I'm gonna talk to the other suspect. How's it going, bud? I'm uh, good. You want to tell me what happened this afternoon? Yeah, we bought the lawnmower. Bought the lawnmower from who? 4332. Uh, some guy, I don't know, two hundred dollars. Some guy, where at? Down the road from where she's talking about. Where at, though? I'm right there on Shelby Road. No, but where were you? Were you at a buddy's house? Was he walking down the street? Or? No, he had a great pickup truck, just like that one. Where was he at, though? He was just driving down the road and said, hey, you want to buy a lawnmower? No, no, no. Uh, he got a hold of him or something, I don't know. He called him on the phone? Who did? A buddy of his, I guess, I don't know. All I did was go with him to get the lawnmower. But where'd y'all go? Since you went with him, where did y'all go? I went over there to the, by the pawn shop over there. I don't know the name. Okay, but where'd you stop? Where did you pick up the lawnmower from? Out of a, uh, out of a driveway. Out of a driveway? I didn't steal it though. He was said there, he said that was good. Okay, no one's saying you stole anything. Yeah. I'm just trying to figure out where you got the lawnmower from. Well, they trying to say I stole it. I I'm not saying you stole anything. The lawnmower was in the back of his truck. He unloaded the back of his truck to that truck. I mean, for that. Can you describe the guy who was driving the truck? Was it a white guy, black guy, Hispanic, Hispanic, guy? Hispanic guy? A Hispanic guy? Yeah. Okay. Mustache. Got tattoo on the side of his neck, some kind of name. Tried Where were y'all taking the lawnmower right now? Uh, taking it to get that tire aired up. Where at? Uh, I don't know. Wherever he takes it. I don't know. Okay. All right. Well, hang tight for a second. How's it going, Deputy Guillen with Sheriff's Department? Uh, tell me what you saw, bud. All I saw was a uh, truck backing up. What, what truck? That truck. That one right there. How do you know it was that one? I, just saw, I read the license plate. Read the license plate. Head. Did you see the two guys though? Yeah. That looked like the guys that were in the. I just saw the back of their head. That looked like them. Yeah. Okay. Ready? One, three. One, two, three. Oh. Can, can you turn the wheel? Dang. Ah. Okay. So I leave. Two hundred dollars on this deal. Yeah. Two hundred dollars down the drain. I guess I teach less, huh? Tell me what happened again from this afternoon. We've been junking. You've been junking? Okay. Okay. We went around there to the driveway I told you to. Okay. Dude made us at the pawn shop. We loaded, loaded the lawnmower up. Okay. He said he had a receipt for $200 for the lawnmower. So where'd y'all go pick it up at? Right around the corner by the... We were both in the trucks okay. by the but driveway. I, I want to know exactly where you were. Y'all pull into a driveway? Y'all pull into a parking lot? Uh, never you at the McDonald's? The huh? Never pulled into the driveway. Never pulled into the driveway? So you waited out on the street? Like I said, the guy sold us the lawnmower. Okay. We loaded it in the back of the truck. I understand what happened, but where were you? Some road down there, I don't know. From, okay, that. where was the lawnmower? Was it at a house? By the pawn shop. All right, buddy. I ain't gonna put me in jail for stealing something when I didn't steal something. I bought the, that. The I did not. The district attorney accepted theft on you two. They are both going to jail. Well, yes, sir. We didn't steal nothing, though. I didn't say you stole it. Oh. I'm telling you, the district attorney accepted charges on y'all for theft. Oh. All right? Okay. Ma'am, I don't, I don't know if anyone explained to you during all the chaos, but uh, these two guys are going to jail for theft for stealing your lawnmower. Yes, one of okay. the guys already informed me though, that. Okay. They already told you that? Yes. Okay. Hey, bud, you did a good job, man. Don't don't go get involved. Just get a license plate number. Don't ever don't ever put yourself out there. You d you did a good job. Well, I've lived in this area for 28 years. Uh, I grew up here. I started in corrections and uh, came out here to the road. I want to stay in my my area here, um, close to where I live. Watch my kids grow up and make sure that I can kind of help out, uh, damper the crime out here as much as I can. We're heading to a physical slash verbal fight. Don't know any more on that. We're going to go check it out. What's going on? 
Look at what you did to me. Listen, relax for a second. <laughs> I need to figure out what's going on. I have artificial joints. Look at my... All right, listen, you got to stop for a second so we understand what's going on. And why are we here? Because she took off. All I want is my phone so I can call my mom. Tell me, send me a ticket to go home. I can't, I can't deal with this no more. She beat her dad up yesterday. Hey, stand here for a second, okay? Take a breath, relax, stand right here. We're going to talk to you. Who's that, your daughter? And what's her yeah, name? It's Erica, but she's okay. going to tell you nothing. Erica! Get her away from that stay, car because stay they were there last right, night they, and they will can you Can you back, Please, back up and stop? Back lie up and stop. Relax. They will lie for her. Erica. What? All right, what do we got going on here? Erica, how old are you? I am 16. Uh, okay, where do you live? <laughs> Over there. And where does your mother live full time? That, with me. Okay, she says she needs a bus ticket. What's going on? No, yesterday, her and my dad got into a fight over my brother coming to live with us. She tore up my house. She beat the crap out of him. And then today, when I told her that he said he wasn't sorry and that he wanted divorce and wanted her out of his house, she freaked out and threw his clothes in the canal. So I called my grandma, and then that made her more mad. And she, she tried to lock me out of the house. So I crawled through my window. And when I got through my window, she tried to rip my stereo out of my room. She threw a tree at me. She threw my tree at me. She picked up my computer monitor and threw it at me. And when I tried to get past her, she tried to grab me. So I spun around and she rolled off my bed and hit her face on my wall. And now she's trying to say that I hit her. Was anyone else in the house? No. Where's your dad at? He's on his way out. Okay, stop. You need to relax. You, st you, you stop. Right now I need all your cooperation. Come back here. He doesn't even know what's going on and my phone's dead. Sit right there and let me go talk to these people. Hi, ma'am. How are you? Um, I hear that you got a lot going on here in neighborhood drama. They came to your house or? Um, good evening. Weird. Okay. Um, you're inside and they came, knocked inside. on the door? My husband was like, honey, and I look out my window and that truck tried to run that young lady over. And she, we came out the door because we didn't know who they were. And all of a sudden she's like, my mother's trying to run me over with the car. She gets out of the car. She's bleeding. She's all swollen. She threw the phone at her mom. Okay. Um, I'm assuming that's her mom. Yeah. And then she also stated that the bump she has on the side of her face supposedly happened last night. It's not my judgment call. Yeah. Okay. All I know is that when they run up on your yard... Yes, I understand. Like, well, give me a couple of minutes and then I'll get you taken care of. Oh, of course. Yeah, take it inside. And from there on, I won't, I won't need anything else. So I appreciate it. I'm going to try to get the drama moved back to their house so we can... Yeah, they said they live close, so... Thank you so much. Oh, honey, you're welcome. Thank you. What took place out here? Did she try to run you over with her vehicle? Yes, she did, officer. I had to run through all of that and all of that. And when I ran through there, then people seen me and I said, can you please call the cops? She's trying to run me over. Okay. I'm scared for my life. She pulled up right here because I was sitting in this driveway waiting for my friend. And she's like, you give me my phone or I'm going to smash your camera. And I'm like, mom, please just leave me alone. Okay. Just please get away from me. Now, did she hit you at all? She I noticed my hair. She scratched my neck. I see the scratch on your neck. Tried to joke me. Listen, we're gonna go back to your house, figure out what's going on, okay? What's happened out here? I don't know. This wasn't done before I left. <laughs> so she took the screen out. The screen was in. No, my screen I had took out because she locked me out, and I was just gonna go in my room and get my phone charger and some clothes so I can leave for the night. Okay. <laughs> I got you. Out. All right. So, from what I could see, there was something pretty rough here to happen. I mean, there's stuff I throwing threw everywhere. There's stuff from other window. And why? I bought it all. So you you took the screen out and no, threw it all? The screen was already did. out. Yeah. And then you just went ahead and threw everything out. That's right, I did. Okay. I bought it. She shouldn't have nothing but a mattress on that floor the way that she treats us. Okay. Her dad flipped out last night. I don't know if he was drinking when he got home. He destroyed his room. I cleaned my whole house, put all his stuff in his room. They're both bipolar. He drinks. He won't let her take medicine. Okay. Uh, can I ask you a question? 
Yeah. What happened down there? Because there's tire marks everywhere. Because she was running from me. With, I just want my phone to call my mom. Okay, so you're attempting That's to get the it. get the phone. She, I was soon as I would stop her, she'd run to another field. Okay. But, I, I would never hurt my daughter. But with the vehicle, what? Where does that? I mean, I don't. I don't because understand. I can't run. I got disc in my back. Or I got a. You didn't think about calling us. She's got my phone. There's no home phone. No. All right. Right now, you're going to be detained in the back of our car until detectives come. I wasn't going to hit her. All right. I just wanted her to stop. Go ahead and get a drink of water. You can bring that in for right now, till they get here. They're going to come sort this out. Someone's going to jail. Just let them figure it out.